Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to be making a DIY GoPro mount for my kayak using PVC pipe because that's what I have laying around. If you're new to the channel, my name's Chris and I film fishing videos and other outdoor activities. Okay, so the basic idea here is I have this milk crate already set up and I have three pieces of PVC pipe to hold rods and the net or whatever. But I'm going to take this one, and as you can see, I have this bushing on here. I'm going to glue that on, and then glue this um, threaded piece onto the end of this pipe right here, so that I can screw it in and take it apart when need be. And then on the top, I have this cap right here, and this, I believe it's a quarter inch thread bolt, one inch long, I think. It screws right into this tripod adapter, so I'm just going to drill a hole through that cap, tighten the nut down, and then I should just be able to screw this little adapter on it and then tilt the camera whatever way I need. See if I can thread that in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and step up to a 1564. Let's put that in the right way. Alright, that's perfect. So we'll just thread that through. That should be a nice snug fit. And you can see that in there. Alright, and then just thread this nut on. It should be tight enough, but we'll go ahead and really try to tighten it down. Nice and snug, but I didn't break it, so that's what we wanted. And then when it's sitting on top, this thing will just screw right on. You can just angle your GoPro however you want. All right, as you can see, this works exactly like I intended it to. I did make a mess with the primer because I'm not a plumber, but it'll do just fine. I could paint over it if I really wanted to. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm just like gonna let that sit overnight, and then tomorrow I'll see if I need to cut it or see if 
this height is, this might be too tall, so I might cut it at this line right here. All right, well, I actually ended up cutting it down just about a foot, and I think I'm happy with it at this height. From what I could tell with this one, it looks like it's gonna be a perfect angle. It's about, or I shouldn't say about, it's exactly 61 inches from the base of the pipe at the bottom of the milk crate, and probably another, uh, so like 66 with the camera. So 66 inches above, and then I have it pointed slightly down. So I think that's gonna be a pretty good angle. I'm gonna go ahead and seal up the cap and make it permanent. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Today's Friday, August 18th, and I just got back from my vacation to the beach. So I'm gonna get out on a new lake today, Yellow Creek State Park, and do some kayak fishing. Okay, so as you can see here, um, this is actually a really nice angle, I think. It's nice and high up and it's wide. And in a moment here, you'll see me pulling my kayak into the water. Now you'll notice whenever I go over this little ledge, the camera does shake, but the kayak shouldn't be shaking like that. You know, you'd hope not unless there's big waves or something. So I think that's gonna be pretty good actually and it's stationary so i don't have to worry about the need for like how the 11 has stabilization features and stuff like that horizon lock this is just a nice wide angle that i think is going to do great for capturing blow-ups and stuff that i'm not looking at here you see me paddling out and after i, I get off those rocks you notice that it's actually decently smooth i mean it's going to shake a little bit however i think while anchored and hooking a fish that's going to be very minimal and this isn't going to be the main camera so that's not going to matter either way and here you can see this is what it looks like from the main camera that i'll be using which is on my head and i do like that however it films exactly what i'm looking at so sometimes I just naturally look around for whatever reason or you know I might not be looking at the fish blow up also sometimes whenever you're fighting a fish it's going all over the place so it's kind of hard to track that with a camera on your head looking at it and so that camera that I have on the pipe is just gonna look down and, and get the fish thrashing around by the net unfortunately I didn't realize that the rod that I had in the middle pipe would stick up and block the camera because it wasn't at first whenever I tested it out. So that's just something that I have to be mindful of. You know, I could either only fish with two rods or possibly build something or put something there to prevent that from happening without me knowing. Now, I didn't catch any fish this trip. I would have liked to have, but I just kind of went out there mainly to test the camera, and I think that that was a success to combat the skunk that I got up there, I ended up stopping at a lake on the way back to my house and I ended up beating the skunk and caught a bunch of fish there. So that'll be next week's video. If you enjoyed this video or you enjoy any of the other videos on my channel, please consider leaving a like and subscribing because there's going to be a lot more videos like this. And I'm also going to be possibly getting into some camping videos in the near future. Thanks for watching.